Hey, party people, this is Jeremy from Jumble Live Place Games, and we're at PAX Unplugged 2018, and we're with Nate Chatelier, the What's designer, up? one of the designers of Dice Throne. Please tell us about this awesome product for people who don't know, actually. There's still yeah. some, there are very few people yeah. who don't know about <laughs> Dice Throne at this point. But go ahead and tell us a little bit about the game, and let's look at Dice Throne 2, Oh yeah, right here in front right. of me. Thanks for having me on the show, man. Yeah. I'm so proud to be a part of Jambalaya. Uh, let me tell you about yeah. it. So this is now Dice Throne Season 2. Uh, in Season 2, we have obviously upgraded the, the visual quality, the aesthetics, the cards, everything quite a bit. But let me tell you what the game is. It's like combat Yahtzee with a whole lot more strategy than that sounds like. I get three rolls total, and when I'm done, I'm going to use these numbers or symbols to activate one of these abilities to attack you with. So like right now, I got two blades, and I could re-roll these and try and get more blades. But blades are actually the most common to roll, so they're reliable but do my weakest attacks. Where every character is six is the hardest to roll, but it does my strongest attacks, like this highest power ability or my ultimate split the heavens. So I could, now I can decide what I want to do here. I also can look at numbers in a row. So like, a small straight is four numbers in a row. So if I had four, like three, four, five, six, that would be a small straight. Or wow. all, all my dice in a row would be a large straight. So I'm kind of close to glorious right now, though, yeah. and that's a pretty good ability. I'm going to go for that. So I need to roll one more blade. Come on, I need a blade. No, now I can change my mind if I want. I got one roll left, but that's still my best chance. Right. I need a blade. Come on, need come blade. on. No blade. blade. That's actually not a good... No, this is a perfect example. Yeah. So I've got Holy Smite. So I could go for that right now, which is a good attack. But it's also a good chance to show you how cards work. I start out with four cards in my hand, and I start with two combat points. And every turn, I'm gonna add one more card, and I'm gonna gain one more combat point. And this is a currency that I'm gonna spend to play my cards. They all have a cost in order to play. So like right now, I have four, five, six, and that's, that's pretty good, because I can do Holy Smite. But maybe I wanna play a card like this one. Twice as wild. It cost me three, so I gotta go down to zero. But now I can change any two dice I want. So I'm gonna make this die a three, and I'm gonna make this die a two, and now all of a sudden I got two, three, four, five, six, large straight, great attack. Wow. So this says that I'm gonna gain flight, I'm gonna inflict blinding light on my opponent, and I'm gonna deal eight damage. So, so let's these, see. So okay. these all have like their own little setup powers that you can kind of like do. change and multiply. Because I see it, these are really detailed. They kind of walk through all things, they status are, effects, man. things like that. And I'll, I'll explain what this is in just okay. a minute here. Let me show you how defense works. So let's say that I was attacking you, and you were the Cursed Pirate. I put Blinding Light on you because my ability said to, but now you get to defend yourself, which tells you to roll four dice. You want to do it or you want me to do it? I'll oh, do it. I'm doing it. Okay, you got it. You got it. Roll those four. What do you got? <laughs> nice roll. Yeah. Very good roll. So you're doing one damage back to me for each cutlass. So you, you're hitting me back for three. Yeah. On top of it, for each goal, you're preventing two damage. So of the eight, now you're only taking six. Six, yeah. And you hit me back for three. That's very good. So wow. now I've done six damage to you. So if you were at 50 health, we're going to go down to 44, and the goal is to get you to zero to, to win to the zero. game. Wow. Now, if this were a team game, you'd each have your own stuff, but you would share this health pool between your team. Okay. So now, what the heck are these things you mentioned earlier, right? Yeah. So every character has unique status effects that are thematic and unique just to that character. Flight, for example, is something for the Seraph, and if, and if I gain, if she gains this, then she can spend this token, which she's defending, and roll two dice. If, oh. he, if either of these are six, I fly away and take no damage. No, oh, you got me. But I could still play cards, for example, yeah. a single wild card, and say, that's a six, right. I'm taking no damage. Whoa. So they all have unique status effects. Now lastly, <laughs> is... These characters are so much better. <laughs> there's oh, permanent upgrades. Yeah. So Glorious does six damage, but Glorious 2 does seven damage. So if I pay two, I can upgrade it for the rest of the game, I have a better attack. It's a 30 minute game, and it's two to six players, everything you need, all included in the box. Man, thank you so much. I know people are so excited for this game. I, I, I can't even believe you have it here. There's, people, like, there's so many people here. Very man, few. It's crazy, man. So uh, just tell us a little bit about this. And where, can you, where can they get this now, the uh, Season 2 bundle? Yeah. So uh, on if you go to dicerone.com starting uh, Tuesday, December 3rd, <laughs> no, 4th, uh, then you'll be able to pre-order from our website. Uh, and you'll be able to get this, which will never be a retail. Uh, this behemoth is all of Season 2. All combined into oh, one. Oh no, yeah, open that up, man. Open that up. So this <laughs> now is a character select. So for example, I was playing the Seraph. If you want her, you pull her tray out, and it's got everything you need yes. all packed into this nice little one tray here. And then how we do that is it has these trifold hero boards, so it just expands on out. 
And then it has the, the, the places for the cars. This, that's the even better than the insert from the first game. It is. Yeah, that's yeah. Let me see. That. Everything all second. right. Hold on a second, man. <laughs> Wow. So that's the trays, wow, and this is unique. Wow. And this can sit up like a chest of drawers as well, and you can just pull out any hero you want to play wow. as well. That's season two. Man, thank you so much for giving me a good overview of that. We are at Roxy Games, PAX 2018. Nate, take, thank Thanks, you for Jambalaya. your time. Take care, party people. See